Hi and welcome back to That Office Guy. And today guys, we are going to be taking a look at how to save your email attachments automatically using Power Automate. It's actually a very straightforward and simple process. And I'm gonna walk you through just how to set up your very own automated process for saving your email attachments down into OneDrive. Um, if you do find this video useful and informative, please do go ahead and hit that like button for me. I really appreciate it. And if you're new to the channel and you're not yet subscribed, do go ahead and subscribe. By subscribing, you will be kept up to date with all the various um, hints and tips that we do here at That Office Guy. Right, with uh, that said and done, let's jump on over to the desktop and take a look at how to set up this automation. Fantastic. So here we are just on the desktop. And the first thing that we need to do is actually just head on over to office.com. Once we're on office.com, you'll be presented with all your various e, uh, you know, files, etc., that you've been using um, and the app bar on the left hand side. So the first thing that we need to do is actually just go ahead and find the power automate. Um, and if we do not see this here, then uh, we can easily go ahead and just expand all options and find power automate from here or click on all apps and find it this way as well. And once we found it, we're gonna go ahead and right click and just open that up in a new tab. And that's going to open up Power Automate. Now, if you have not yet signed up to Power Automate, then you can do so for free. Um, you only need a free version at this point. You do not need to actually pay for anything here. Um, so you can just sign up to the free plan for Power Automate. Um, I always do have an account, so you'll be presented with this screen once you've signed in. And um, from here, we have all of the navigation bars on the left-hand side. Um, and what we want to do is actually just go ahead and click on my flows to start with. Here we can see I actually have two flows already created. And um, these are, you know, test uh, planner tasks and holiday requests. And I've done a couple of videos on those. So you can check those out if you're interested in that kind of thing. Um, but for now, what we're going to do is just click on this new flow. From the drop down menu, we want an instant cloud flow. OK, um, actually, we want an automated cloud flow. Sorry. OK, um, so this one here would be if you wanted to push a button for it to work, but we want something that's automated. So we want automated cloud flow. I'm going to go ahead and click this. That then comes up with this um, basically wizard um, and we're going to give this a name. So we're going to say save files from emails. OK, and then what we're going to do is we're going to search for email. And the thing that we're looking for here is when a new email arrives, okay? Uh, and there's a few different versions of it. So obviously we have version two, uh, we have uh, a version three here, and you can click this little button and it'll show you what's going on. Um, so basically it's a limitation of 50 megabits per second. Uh, this one's the same. So I'm gonna use the V3. Um, it's a, obviously it's the latest version. So I'm just gonna go with that. Uh, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and click create. Once we do this, it's gonna uh, basically connect to your Outlook emails. Now, if that hasn't, it will create that connection for you. Um, and once it's created that connection, you'll be able to see what, what basically what folder you want to monitor within your email inbox, okay? So I'm just gonna go with the inbox, um, but you can click on the little folder icon here. I'm just gonna close that off. And this allows you to look at various different levels, right? So if you've got a specific folder that you want to monitor, then you could just choose that specific folder. But I'm just gonna say the entire um, inbox for now, and that's fine. The other thing that we need to do here, guys, is actually just select from this um, advanced options is the um, attachments. It has to be an email with an attachment, okay? Because that's ultimately our end goal here. We're going to monitor all emails that have attachments and then we're gonna save them down, okay? And again, you could get more advanced with this. I'm gonna keep this tutorial very basic. Um, but if you wanted to, you could check later on in, in various different stages here, uh, the types of the email attachments that you might want to save. So for example, you only might want to save PDF files or Excel files, um, and in which case you can do that um, by looking at the extensions, okay? Um, but what we're gonna do is just make sure that it includes an attachment, yes, only with attachment, I'm gonna click yes, okay? And then I'm gonna close that down. So now we have our trigger. So when a new email arrives with uh, an email attachment, um, then it, we're going to ask it to do something. So the next thing that we want to do is uh, basically um, go ahead and add in um, the OneDrive. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and go file. Uh, OneDrive for business, we're gonna want this one. Uh, and then what we wanna do is create a file from, um, you know, ultimately our email. So we're gonna go ahead and create that file. This is gonna then sign into OneDrive for Business and then it's gonna ask me for a folder path. So I'm gonna click on the little folder here. We have the root directory. 
then we can just go in and see there's nothing else other than that root directory for my particular OneDrive. So I'm just going to shoot on back and click on root. So root, but root is now the path that's gone in there. The file name. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to see the dynamic content over here on the right hand side. And what I'm going to be looking for specifically is uh, the attachment. Okay, so the name of the attachment. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And what that's going to do is it's going to say for every single attachment, we're going to have an apply to each attachment. And then we're going to save a file for every single attachment that's in there. Okay, the file contents, okay, is also the attachments content from the dynamic content window here. So if you do not see this, um, it might just appear like this. You have to just make sure you click on add dynamic content, and then you'll have this box appear. By default, um, Power Automate will identify that you're looking for file content and try to narrow the search down. Um, so in this example, it's very straightforward because we've only got, you know, basically one trigger and then one event. It's going to save down all of the attachments. Um, so I'm going to head basically add in the attachments content. Okay. So we're creating a new file. Okay. And um, basically it's inside my root directory of my OneDrive. It has the attachment name from the email and we're going to add the contents of the attachment into the new file that's being created. And that is it, right? So that's a very simple flow that's basically going to look at your emails and go ahead and actually save all of those attachments down into your OneDrive for you. But of course, you're not just limited to OneDrive. You could also, if you wanted to, share um, save files directly into SharePoint as well. So if you, that was more of what you're, you're, you're trying to achieve, then you could go ahead and do that too. Uh, and likewise, you could really be specific over some of the criteria of your email. It could be addressed to very specific people. It could be only where you're copied in on something. It could also be from a very specific sender. And you could also, if you know exactly what the subject is going to be called, you could use um, you know, a specific subject. So you'll, you'll know exactly what you're saving down. Um, I use this quite a bit for saving specific uh, emailed reports over uh, into SharePoint that I then use inside Power. BI, for example. So um, there's a lot of good functionality here when it comes to saving attachments. Um, but in this example, it's very, very straightforward and simple. We've got one email coming in that has the attachment, and then we're going to go ahead and save all of those attachments as files inside our OneDrive account. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and click on save from this particular example. And we can see now it's been saved. So what I'm going to do is just go back to our main screen here. It says our flow is ready to go. Um, it's been turned on and uh, will trigger when you send a new email to your inbox. I'm going to just make sure I don't have to see that again and click OK. So now the next thing that we're going to do, guys, is actually send an email to my um, emails with an attachment. OK, so what I'm going to do is just go ahead and go to my Gmail account for this example. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and create a new email. From this new email, I'm going to go and address it to myself. I'll give it um, a test subject. And then what I'm going to do is go ahead and attach a file. From here, I'm going to go ahead and find a, a specific file that I'd like to save. Um, so I'm going to go and find something from uh, one of my other accounts, bear with me one second. I'm going to go ahead and attach this into my email, right? So um, for all of my crypto assets, I've got an XLSX file, uh, and I'm going to basically send this in. So um, I'm just going to say another test in the body there, it doesn't really matter. And once I'm happy with all of that, I'm going to send that. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and monitor my email inbox just here, make sure it arrives at this particular end as well. So uh, in here, we can see that this is my general, uh, my just my regular inbox, and we've got loads of various different things. Here we can see that we have that test email just arrived. So what I'm going to do is come back to Power BI, and we're going to just refresh all these flows. Here we can see that actually it was successful. So I'm going to come into here. Um, that's going to then show us what's actually gone on. So we've had the email arrive. We can see that. Uh, we can come and have a look at what's gone on here. It's actually created a file. It's called cryptoassets.xlsx. Um, uh, we have the file contents. Um, and what we can now do is actually head back over to, you know, our, um, our Microsoft Office, right? 
uh, office.com and we're going to go ahead and find our OneDrive account here. We're going to go click on OneDrive. That's going to load that up and uh, we're going to see if this has come through as expected. And there we go. About one minute ago, we've had Nick Crypto Assets has been saved directly into our power, uh, sorry, into our OneDrive account. So very, very straightforward and very, very easy to do, guys. But again, you can obviously make this a more advanced as needed. Um, so if you wanted to be really specific over the types of files, then you can go ahead and just do a, cr a criteria check to make sure that you're only going to be saving in the XLSX files rather than image files or PDF files or whatever it is that you're trying to achieve. But ultimately, the process is actually incredibly simple to do. So hopefully, guys, you found that um, you know, very, very useful and informative. Um, if you did, then please do go ahead and hit that like button for me. Um, I really do appreciate it. And if you're new to the channel and you're not yet subscribed, do go ahead and subscribe. By subscribing, you'll be kept up to date with all of the various uh, hints and tips of videos that we do here at That Office Guy. And with all this said and done, we hope you have a fantastic day and we'll catch you in the next one.